What's up guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an autumn winter haul. You guys seem to really enjoy when I include a mix of brands and a mix of price points and that's exactly what I've done. So this is very much a transitional haul. So we're looking at pieces that you can bring into your wardrobe that you can work with your summer pieces. So nothing is really heavy. We're gonna wait for maybe another month or so before we start bringing out the really heavy knits and coats. Uh, but right now there's a lot of light layers, a lot of stuff that you can wear right now now with the weather because it is very changeable. So the first brand that I'm going to talk about is Revolve and I don't think I've ever featured Revolve in a haul here on my channel. They are an amazing brand. They're American but they actually launched in Ireland recently so you can shop them um, in Ireland and get them shipped to you. The customs and all that stuff is included in the price so there's no nasty surprises which is great and they have a really amazing selection of brands. A lot of those really cool American brands that we see on the likes of Instagram on our favorite influencers, things like Reformation, free people, um, all that kind of stuff. And you can now shop them in Ireland. So it's really, really handy. And I'm gonna start with two pieces that I picked up from Revolve. The first one is this absolutely beautiful striped blazer. Now, what I love about this piece is that you can wear it in so many different ways. So obviously looking at it now, it's a blazer, but it's quite long fitting. So it does work as a jacket as well. I feel like this is something that you could wear super casually with a t-shirt and jeans and a pair of flats, but you could also dress it up and I think this can work for workwear. I feel like it's a perfect mix of casual, but also tailored. Like the tailoring on this is really, really nice. And also you can wear this as a blazer dress. So on the website, I'll put in a picture of the model wearing it. It's styled, worn as a dress, and with this little belt that it has here, it's tied at the waist. So you could wear it with a pair of heels for a night out or maybe a pair of over the knee boots during the day, but there's definitely a bunch of different ways that you can wear this. I feel like an item of clothing like this will work for so many different occasions. So for me, it was really a no-brainer. It's that kind of fabric that it's heavy enough to keep me warm as a jacket, but it's the perfect light layer that I'm not gonna be too hot on it in the early months of the autumn so I was so so happy with this I definitely will be getting so much wear out so this blazer is from the brand LPA they do a lot of amazing dresses and separates on Revolve but this blazer dress really caught my eye above anything else I thought it was so perfect for the season that's in it so next up from Revolve, I picked up something that I feel like is perfect for the weather we're having now. It's a really light trench style coat. Now, first of all, we're looking at the beautiful check pattern on this. This is a trend that we're seeing so much of in autumn winter. Check and tartan is huge. So this is definitely a big nod to that trend, but it's also quite subtle as well. I really like the almost bluey gray tones on this with the little kind of it's like a minky brown running through it. It's really, really flattering. But also I love the cut of this. It's like a trench in that it's long and it has this really nice belt that you can tie in. But it has these kind of almost blazer lapels at the front that make it quite dressy. So again, this is something that I feel like you could wear with a bunch of different outfits. You could wear it open for a really casual look. You could belt it up. I feel like it's something that will work really, really well with my existing wardrobe to bring it into the autumn winter season we're having now. And it's also adding a nice layer with Without being too warm and bulky. So this one is by the brand Lovers and Friends and again I went for the size medium in this. I thought it was perfect. It's slightly oversized. I feel like for trenches I never want them to be too tight fitting anyway so I usually will size up and I think it looks perfect. So that's everything I picked up from Revolve and next up I'm going to move on to H&M and the first thing that I have here is this beautiful and very autumnal gorgeous chiffon dress. So this was an absolute steal. It was under 20 euro and I just think it's the perfect little Guna for autumn winter. So first of all, it's got this lovely light chiffon layer on the top. It's quite sheer. It has a little brown cami slip dress underneath so it fits perfectly. It's got this little tie detail here and then it has the slight ruching here at the sleeves and also a nice little elasticated waist. Now lengthwise, I think it's perfect. The underslip is quite short but the chiffon comes down lower so it's really comfortable. It's nice and covered and I think this looks so, so nice with a pair of over the knee boots. I also like to belt it at the waist. I think it's perfect for adding a little statement belt to and I feel like this is a really nice dress that you can obviously wear given that it's still quite warm at the moment but it's full of those autumnal vibes so you're still getting a really floaty comfortable outfit but you're really hitting those style notes as well. Next up from H&M I decided to pick up one or two pieces of knitwear. They're very light knitwear so they're not super heavy. They're still perfect for wearing in the weather that we're having right now and this first one I love it so so much. It's this beautiful block color jumper. You've got the gorgeous panels of color. Again I feel like the mustard is really autumnal. This lovely 
lovely little burgundy down at the bottom. So it's adding a bit of color to your wardrobe. And I think that sometimes in autumn, winter, we get so caught up with wearing blacks and grays and navies and browns. It's nice to add that little bit of color in. So this I feel is absolutely perfect for doing that. You can wear it with skinny jeans. You can wear it with skirts, with longer midi skirts. You know, it's something that you can really style up in so many different ways. But at the end of the day, it's just a cozy, comfortable jumper. And they are the things that I really do tend to live in, especially when I'm working from home. I'm always wearing something snuggly like this. Now, another piece of knitwear I picked up from H&M is this gorgeous ribbed top. It's kind of like a mix between a top and a jumper. It is that knitted ribbed detail, but the material is thin enough that I wouldn't even really call it a jumper. If the weather is quite warm like it is today, you could get away with wearing this as your top. But of course, as the weather cools down, you can wear this as an inside layer underneath a blazer or a biker jacket or something like that as well. Again, this was super affordable. I think it was under 15 euro. This reminds me of something that the likes of Alexa Chung would wear. I feel like it's really cool and casual and a little bit boyish as well. I think this would look so cute with like a denim overall dress. I have one that I featured on one of my previous summer hauls that I think would be perfect with this. But you could also wear it with jeans, skirts, pretty much anything and I think it's gonna look good. Next up from H&M, I have two pieces from their GB by J Baker collaboration. This was a launch that they did over the summer. It's with a beautiful interiors company and the prints, oh, the prints are so beautiful. So you may have seen this on my Instagram already. This is the most beautiful jumpsuit. It's very much in that kind of oriental style. It has the wide sleeves with the thick straps. It's got the gorgeous almost tuxedo lapels and that beautiful floral and bird print. It is so so striking. Now the price of this was fantastic. I believe it's still available in shops. I couldn't find a link for it anymore on the website but the trousers and shirt version of this print is still available so I am going to link those below. So if you can't get your hands on this you can still get your hands on the printed trousers just like this or the printed shirt that is a long sleeve version of this. So I will link those in the description if you want to check them out. Now another item from the same collaboration that is still available on the website because I checked is this beautiful floral tea dress. Again this is from the same collaboration. It's that beautiful beautiful floral and bird print. It's just so stunning. I actually wore this um, last month on the second day of a friend's wedding. So it was perfect for the following day when we went to the family's house and had some food. It was an occasion that still called for you know, a little bit of a dressy outfit, but it obviously wasn't as dressy as the wedding itself. So this was perfect. It was extremely comfortable and I just felt really floaty and lovely. But I feel like these colors work for autumn as well. So I would style this up into an autumn look by pairing it with a pair of ankle boots, a biker jacket, maybe belted at the waist. And I feel like you can take it from summer into autumn winter so, so easily. So another item that I picked up from H&M is a Baker Boy cap. And if you watched any of my videos last year, you will know how obsessed I am with Baker Boy caps. I have too many of them in my wardrobe, but I always find an excuse to buy another one. And the excuse for this one was that I didn't have a brown one. I feel like the weather is a little bit too hot right now to wear a warm hat like this, but you can rest assured the temperatures will be dropping soon and hats are so, so good for keeping me warm, but they're also a great way to add a little style note to your look, which is why I wore so many Baker Boys and Berets autumn winter last year, and I'll be doing the exact same thing this year. So that is everything from H&M. And next up, I have a few pieces to show you from Pretty Little Thing. The first thing that I have here is similar to the blazer dress that I showed you already from Revolve. So first off, it's in this gorgeous check print. And again, this is something that we're going to be seeing so much of over the next few months. Check and tartan and all those kinds of heritage prints are really having a moment this autumn winter. I mean, tartan kind of comes around in some way, shape or form every autumn winter, but it's really at the forefront of the trend forecasts this year. So definitely if you have anything in your wardrobe, dig it out. Or if you're looking for something new, it's a good one to invest in. So obviously you can wear this as a blazer, you can wear it closed, or you can where it open. It has that beautiful double breasted buttons and the nice lapels there. I also like to roll up the sleeves on this. I think it gives it kind of a more casual look, but because this is cut very long, you can easily wear this as a blazer dress as well. And actually on the website, it is styled as a blazer dress. One thing I would do with this, if you're wearing it as a dress, however, is I would pop a belt around the waist because that will cinch you in. If you're wearing it just as a dress, it tends to look a little bit shapeless. So maybe pop on a little buckle belt or any kind of statement belt, and that will really cinch you in and give you a lovely shape. So next up from Pretty Little Thing, I have a gorgeous tartan skirt and I have to be honest this is something that I didn't really think I was going to be buying considering I went to a secondary school that 
had you wear skirts like this so I didn't really ever think that I would want to wear them outside of school but here we are even though this is quite summery and that it's a nice floaty skirt I feel like it would look so autumnal with a really nice oversized knit in some sort of autumn color like a gray or a dark brown I think it would be really really beautiful I would probably dress this down by wearing it with my Doc Martens or a pair of ankle boots or even a pair of sneakers so next up from Pretty Little Thing I have another skirt and this one is a beautiful midi skirt in this kind of silvery almost teal color. Now pleats are a style note that we're going to be seeing so so much of over the next few months. It seems like kind of a weird detail to include in a trend report but we're actually seeing it on the likes of culottes, midi skirts, dresses, even pleating on certain blazers and jackets. So a really easy way to work this into your wardrobe is by simply getting a pleated midi skirt. It's just such an easy way to work the trend. So I can wear this over the next few months but I can also easily work it into my spring summer wardrobe next year as well because it will absolutely work. Next up from Pretty Little Thing, I have a gorgeous pair of khaki trousers. I absolutely love a pair of high waist wide leg trousers. They are probably my favorite thing to wear on a night out. I always find them really flattering and really comfortable and I always just feel really confident. I don't know about you, but I always feel like I can do my best dance moves in trousers, you know? You can't really go ham in a dress. You know, in a trouser, you can like do all the moves. Anyway, they are from the new Wild West collection on Pretty Little Thing. And I think these also come in a lovely creamy kind of white color, but I thought the khaki was perfect because I can just easily work it into my autumn winter wardrobe. It's that kind of color palette. I'll actually pop in a photo of when I wore these trousers with a really cute um, kind of rust colored halter neck top that's also from Pretty Little Thing, which I will link below as well. Um, it was my friend Eamon's birthday and I wanted to like wear something sassy and fun and you know we were going on a night out and I thought that outfit was perfect so these are amazing I can't recommend them enough if you're looking for a really good pair of trousers now the last thing I picked up from Pretty Little Thing is another pair of trousers and oh look it's more check <laughs> I told you guys that check is going to be so so massive for autumn winter and a really really good way to work that into your wardrobe is with a simple pair of check trousers whenever you think of this kind of print you always think of trousers anyway so I really like these they kind of feel a bit old man-ish but that's what I like about them. I feel like if you wore these with a really cute camisole top you could easily dress them up like maybe a black lacy one but you can also easily dress them down with a jumper or a simple t-shirt and wear them with like maybe a biker jacket and just trainers. The last brand I'm going to show you in this haul is Shein and they're always really affordable. They're a great brand for like playing with new trends and trying things out and an item that I'm so excited to style up for my blog and Instagram is the boiler suit and I feel like it's something that a lot of people are afraid of but it is a big trend for autumn winter and I am dying to jump in the bandwagon so I picked up this beautiful like rust kind of orangey color jumpsuit it's in the most beautiful beautiful shade so autumnal and I love the 70s vibes of this one it's got the high collar the little pulley zip it's got the utility pockets the wide sleeves but it also has a really nice belt detail here so you can really cinch it in at the waist I feel like a boiler suit or like a 70s style jumpsuit like this is not really for the faint of heart but I think they look so so cool and if you're interested in trying out the trend something like this is such an affordable way to do it next up from Shein I am sticking with that gorgeous rust kind of burnt orange color and I went for this amazing trench now this one also is full of the 70s vibes I'm going to take the belt off the top here so you can get a better look at it it's got a really nice white stitching going around it just to give it that extra detail it's in a really nice oversized fit and it also comes with this belt that you can wrap around and cinch in this belt is also so long so when you wrap it around it actually hangs down really low which I think looks really cool I feel like this is one of those fine on Shein that probably will sell out quite soon but that looks way more expensive than its price tag. I feel like I'm going to be living in trench coats in this kind of in-between stage of early autumn so I wanted to go for something in an unusual color and I think rust and this kind of brick red color is such a fun one to play with this season. Now another item I picked up on Shein which definitely needs a steam is this really cool tan play suit. Now the one thing I'll say about this is it is on the shorter side so if you are my height which is 5'8 or above it might be a little bit too short for you. I think I can barely just get away with this. I was hoping that this would hit a little bit lower on my legs so I could wear it during the day but it's a little bit on the shorter side so I feel like it's more of a nighttime kind of play suit that I'd probably have to wear with tights but if you're on the shorter side it will be perfect. I love the shirt details here and the fact that it has a tie waist. I actually really really like the fabric as well. It really really needs a steam 
but I'm kind of thinking I might be able to change it into a shirt if I cut out the bottom and then sew it up. I think it might work really, really well for a shirt, but as a play suit, it's a little bit short for me. So the last thing I picked up from Shein is another trench coat and definitely a bit of a theme in this haul. We're seeing a lot of check and a lot of trenches and this is exactly that. It is a beautiful trench coat. I love the color of the print. It's really nice. Again, just like the blazer from Pretty Little Thing, it's in that kind of heritage check print that's those really, really small little squares. So, so lovely. Now this is really light as well. It definitely wouldn't work as a warm winter coat. It's perfect for those light layers that we need in these kind of in between seasons. So that's exactly what I bought it for. I love the oversized lapels that hang down here, these little additional flaps that make it look very trench coaty. It also has some nice little buckle details on the sleeves, but I do like to roll these up for a more casual fit. I also went for a size medium in this and it does fit very oversized. So unless you want an oversized fit, definitely stick to your true size in this. But I do think it's a really, really nice light layer for the weather that we're having right now. And I also think for the price, it was great value as well. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed my transitional autumn winter your haul there is definitely a mix of price points and brands in there for you and a lot of pieces that I feel like you can use with your current summer wardrobe to bring it into the colder months. As always I have linked absolutely everything in the haul in the description below so make sure to check that out before you go it will have all the information there. If you liked this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you have not already then be sure to subscribe to my channel I'll leave a button up here. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!